Lane gracing us with her knowledge right. on this beautiful, gorgeous Sunday. Uh, this one is talk this one's actually apparently a big talker among the neighborhood. This viewer got a lot of people's opinions on what this plant is, but I want to know the real name. Okay, that's a Kalanchoe, and it's commonly called Mother of Millions because it forms little plantlets at the ends of the leaves. So they'll drop down, and then you'll have a whole bunch of them. But they do have beautiful flowers. There's different leaf forms of them, but usually you could tell them because they have drooping flowers. If you go to like the florist department of a grocery store, you'll find one of the common ones there, and you could grow inside in a very sunny window, or in this case, outside. Some are more frosty. Sensitive. Remember, there are different species of them, but this looks great. Um, and hopefully, that just solved the mystery. Okay, and this one is talking about what's wrong with this? Is too little or too much water, too much sun? Help! Okay, so it wouldn't be too little because we've been getting a lot of rain and that's still uh, playing effect on plants. Uh, this looks like it's probably some frost burn or this is actually normal for aloes. This is an aloe to have their tips die back. In fact, last week we had students go through for our aloe sale plants and prune the tips of the leaves. I wouldn't prune into the new growth. You could just prune off the really brown desiccated parts and the new growth as it dries up and warms up should not be there. But it is normal for the older leaves to do this anyways. Remember when they don't drop their leaves that easily you're going to notice more browning on the edges. So I think that was just a little bit of cold and or too much water. Okay. Especially if it wasn't in a draining pot. Make sure you know good drainage is going to prevent that. Okay, this one says, I have a few of these in my yard. I'm not sure what it is or how to trim it. All right, that looks like it's a deer grass. Just deer grass had that very um, um, thick, sort of, or, or very stiff points coming up, their flower stalks. It's a Mullenbergia. This time of year, grasses are not looking great because they die down and they slowly come back. So, what you can do is grab some of the brown parts and pull and sometimes you could thin them that way or you could prune them down and it will re-sprout from the base so you could clean away. Large bunches of them can be dug up in the fall and divided with a serrated knife if they get too large but this doesn't look that big but they're very drought tolerant and grasses a few years back were all the rage. Um, they're not my thing. Some of them are really pretty but I do like big gaudy flowers. That's the type of person I am. So, but they have their purpose, very drought tolerant, add architectural interest to the garden, but they're easy to maintain. Okay, let's do uh, one more question. Okay. What is this plant? It uh, gets spring blooms, but then just green with green fruits. Okay, that looks like looks like a um, ornamental peach. So they'll get fruits, and if they do ripen, you can eat them. But if it hasn't gotten much bigger than this, there are genetic dwarf peach trees that have absolutely beautiful blooms. This looks like a double bloom, and they're more grown for their spring blooms than their fruit. And they'll just leaf out the rest of the year, and you'll get fruit. And it sounds like they haven't ripened, and they can be edible if they fruit. But man, those blooms are absolutely gorgeous there. So that's worth it. You know, some plants bloom all the time, like oleanders, and people are like, eh. But usually when plants just bloom one time in the spring, they're extra special. You know, sometimes it's if you can't have it, you want it more. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So Make you miss me. Make yeah, you miss exactly. Me. <laughs> exactly. That just, <laughs> ow, got a bug in my eye. <laughs> I know. They're kind of going around. Yeah, we're getting, I know. We're getting attacked ow. in the building today. Uh, Instagram at Simon Says Garden. Follow yeah, right it. There. See it. Do it. Okay. Uh, it's the grand finale of Sacramento Beer Week, and you're invited. New at